a new school year here at DM. I'm your host, Leslie. And I'm Angelica. On this episode, we will bring you a message from our principal, a new What's Up DM, a sports preview, a new segment about shoes and fashion called Copper Drop, Weather, and a Serum Murals. Now let's start with the message from our principal. Well, I'd like to welcome everybody to the 2018-2019 school year. I'm really excited about this year. We started off on a really, really positive note this year. Uh, we had a great uh, meeting with our teachers. Everybody's excited about the year, ready to go, ready to support our students to be successful. But don't be afraid to take a risk. Don't be afraid to take that AP class and do well. Don't be afraid to join a sport and do your best at that sport. Remember, everything is a learning opportunity. You want to take advantage of all those learning opportunities because that only makes you a stronger person. So Angelica, what did you do this summer? I slept, watched Netflix, and procrastinated. What about you? <laughs> no comment. All right, let's go to the new segment of What's Up DM. I went to Mexico to go visit my family. I went to Sinaloa. I did my summer homework. I went to San Francisco since it's a very long ride. I watched both seasons on Netflix of La Rosa de Guadalupe. We had volleyball tournaments and practices. I read the Bible and I got a lot of Fortnite dubs. Over the summer, I went to San Francisco to visit family and I went to the beach. Um, I went to the beach this summer and then I went to LA and that's about it. I went to Yucaipa with uh, the Boys and Girls Club in Coachella and I met like a lot of like new friends. This summer I went to the beach, had fun with my family. We went to Elias party. It was fun. Yeah. I went to Mexico to visit my cousins. I went to Little Tokyo to stalk a bunch of hot guys. This summer I spent my time bothering my doggies. This summer I just I chilled in Mecca. I watched a lot of Netflix. And yeah, I was just minding my own business. I worked all day, every day, and I went to Universal and I was being depressed all night. Um, I started visiting my man. What? <laughs> Well, in June, the family went, and I mean, uh, our son and his family, our daughter and her family, uh, we went to Hawaii. Um, this summer, I actually had the opportunity to go to Europe. I went to Rome, Italy, and London. I had a lot of fun. But I did get away for a week, and I went to Gabo, and that's why you see this beautiful tan on me, because uh, I was at the beach every day. There is a ropes challenge course that all admin from the district was invited to attend, and this, these are the things you do for yourself you want to make sure you challenge yourself. It looks kind of scary. One of the uh, challenges was to climb like an 80 foot pole and then to take a dive to a trapeze that's in front of you. So I went ahead and I did that. My summer was boring compared to all these other summer vacations. Same here. Okay, so school started, you know what that means. Sports? Yes, sports, a whole new year of football, volleyball, and cross country. All right, now let's meet our teams. I think we got a real good shot to make it into the playoffs, and uh, we got an older team and a lot of experience, and it looks like it's going to be really fun. I think the players have been awesome. Some of my best players of all time. We do have a real good shot to make playoffs and a real good shot to win league, but we got to start off next week. Uh, well, actually, we got to start off today. We got a uh, game today against Desert Hot Springs, so it starts right now. I think we're going to do really good on the team because the girls have worked so hard and doing the summer league this is the best we've done so far. Players overall, yeah, we have our differences, but we all come together then to try to become better players and team. Coach, I've been a coach since my freshman year. I've been playing off season with Coach Robinson as well. He has taught me so much, and I'm grateful for that. I think we will make it to playoffs if we try harder and we practice more. We're really good about the team. We have a lot of young guys ready to improve, ready to win. As far as uh, this year's football team, uh, I believe we're much better than last year. Now, um, I don't know if that's going to equate to more wins, uh, what the situation may be, but uh, I'm very proud of the kids. Um, we'd like to have some more kids involved in the program, but with the kids we have in the program, just very happy with their commitment and their hard work. And um, like I said, we're much better than last year, and we're excited to get the season going on Friday.
Uh, my goal is to do a 5K in 16 minutes. My name is uh, Coach Kota. I'm the head coach here at Desert Munch High School for our Boys and Girls Cross Country Program. This year we're looking for um, really impressive performances from our senior Luis Nasario, who worked diligently and worked really hard over the summer and put in his miles for pre in preparation for the season. Also, we have junior Andres de Jesus, who actually was able to get over 500 miles logged in this summer and is doing exceptionally well. Don't forget to come support your Rams in any upcoming games. No shoes! Shoes? Yes, shoes. This year we bring a segment of different types of shoes that are going around the school and some fashion pieces. That sounds pretty cool. With that being said, let's go to our shoes and fashion. What's up DM people? Welcome to our DM Prods video. We specifically created a category named Copper Drop for all you awesome people who are rocking the freshest kicks. By the way, I want to give a huge thanks to all of you who let us take pictures of your fire shoes. Huge shout out to all of you guys. I can't wait to be a senior next year. Just having our own quad and a mural will be awesome. Have you seen this year's senior quad? It's pretty amazing. Actually, we have a quick preview of the senior quad and we had the meaning behind it. And we're all here making the senior quad. Um, our, basically our theme for this year is uh, inclusiveness and diversity. The yellow pillar with a tree that um, represents uh, inclusiveness and diversity, so between special awareness needs. Uh, the black pillar with the two serpents represent our culture. Uh, the red pillar represents school spirit girl on our school. And the blue pillar represents our culture and the different areas where we come from. Uh, the reason we added the U.S. flag and there's other Latin American flags is because most of us are born in the United States, but we bring heritage and culture from different countries, from Latin America to the United States. So that's why we created the United States flag in Colombia, Mexico, and El Salvador. Well, to cap off the first episode of the third season of DM Productions, we bring you another edition of Paisa Weather. ¿Qué onda, DM? Yo soy Gregorio Sánchez de la Cruz, tercero. Bienvenidos de vuelta a la escuela y estás viendo el Paisa Weather. Y esto nomás es para informarle que va a estar muy caliente. Oh, va a estar caliente, así que tomen agua, que pongan un sombrerón. Así nomás quedo con mi compa pirata. Y arriba yo, mi papá y la chona. That's it for today. We will see you on the next episode of DM Productions. Bye!